This is a new carry from Risa Muller, and this is our quick review of all the new features you can look forward to. Hello, I'm Dan from Edmo Electric Bikes, and today we've come to do a really quick first review of the new carry from Risa Muller. Reese and Muller are pushing for this, um, I think they call themselves a mobility company rather than a, a bicycle company. And they're really doing a lot of development around the different types of cargo bikes, whether that's front loading cargo bikes or rear loading cargo bikes. And I think this is a mesh of maybe three or four different bikes all combined together. And this thing has appeared, the carry. So, it, first of all, I would say relates to the bikes we know like the load. So really lovely bikes from Reese and Muller, full suspension, cargo bikes, front loading. Um, it's a version of that. So it's got the same sort of steering concept as that. And obviously it has the loading area at the front. Then it's combined with other things like the multi-tinker and the multi-charger, which are rear loading things. But the multi-tinker has been this sort of shrunk down version of it with the 20 inch wheels. And then the last thing that it's mixed in with is the new culture from Reese & Muller, which has got these lovely tubular tubes um, on the frame, uh, recycled aluminium. And they've sort of got all that mashed it together and come up with this fantastic compact cargo bike which is capable of doing pretty much everything you want to throw at it from taking the kids around doing your weekly shopping and doing your commute so it's a really nice combination of a lot of different bikes all into one simple solution as for the pricing on this bike so we're starting at around about five and a half grand I think from memory five thousand four hundred and sixty nine pounds for the entry level bike entry level is going to give you um, the bike without this nice flex box on the front it's a sort of fold out thing so an open cargo area it's on there and a chain of cassette prices then go up to memory is not good seven and a half so I think it's seven seven three seven or something like that and um, for a fully kitted version of this bike so at about five and a half thousand pounds that's where you can expect to be getting into uh, one of these new carries from Reese Muller Who's this bike gonna be suitable for? Well, it's got quite a lot of different applications. Personally, I would be looking at this saying, you know, this is the ultimate commuter bike for me. It's narrow, so they've designed it so this isn't a huge sort of cargo bike um, with a wide front area. So it'll fit into cycle racks nice and easy. Um, you'll get loads of stuff in it. So it's actually has an option for a bag with a 90 litre capacity in it. You can take 80 kilograms of luggage in the front of this bike. That's more than the load 60 and 75, which are rated at 70 kilograms. So it's got a huge capacity. Um, the space in here was it's narrow um, gives you enough space to put you know all your basics your rucksack and everything but when you fold it out it then changes the bike to be something that's capable of carrying a couple of children up to about seven years old and um, so for me it's a it's a great commuting bike it would work perfectly for everything I want to carry but I can see for other people it's going to be a great solution for a couple of small children to take them to school then maybe carry on to work and then at the weekends pick up all your shopping and everything but when it comes to storing the bike because it's narrow and it's compact you're always going to get it into the corner of the garage or the shed. So we're gonna run through some of the different features on this bike, the things that are special about it. Some of the most special parts are gonna be the front, but we'll come to that later. Let's talk about the basics of the bike and what you get when you buy this bike. So first of all, the motor that's in here. So this is a Bosch Performance Line motor mounted down in the crank there. It's kicking out 75 Newton meters of torque, which is quite a considerable amount. 250 watts of power with a peak power at 600 watts. So it's more than enough power to get you up all the hills with all your um, kit loaded or children loaded into the front of this bike. The next thing is then the battery. So as standard, this bike comes with a 545 watt hour battery, which is mounted on the, uh, I don't know what you call that, the seat post tube or something towards the front of the bike there. Um, 545 watt hour um, battery on a bike like this weighs from about 34 kilograms, probably gonna be good for about 40, maybe 45 miles um, of riding. If that's not gonna be enough for you, or if you're like me and you're a big child that rides in turbo everywhere, then you can actually upgrade this battery to a 725 watt hour version. So that's gonna push your range up in excess of 50 miles. So absolutely loads of distance you're gonna get out of it. Bear in mind, if you ride it in turbo, you can normally half the distance you're gonna get. So I'd say about 30 miles on a 725 watt hour battery. Next really important thing is gearing on these bikes. Now, 
The basic version of this is called a carry touring, and touring means it's gonna come with a chain of cassette. So on the rear, we're gonna have a derailleur with a chain connecting the motor onto the rear wheel. And we're gonna have, I think it's a 10 speed cassette on there with an 1142 um, cassette. So that is suitable for doing most of your sort of town, urban type riding. Um, it's not as big as some of the bikes like the chargers and the loads where they have a 50 tooth cassette, but I'm sure if that became an issue in the future, you could always change out your cassette and go for something larger. But I reckon the option that everybody is going to go for is going to be the one with the Mviola hub. So that's called a carry Vario, and that's what this bike is actually. Um, in the back wheel here, we've got an Mviolo hub. It's the heavy duty hub, so it's capable of carrying all this extra weight that we're going to be lumping around. But the thing that people really like about this is it's got a belt drive on it. So it's got rid of the chain and we've gone for a belt drive down here, direct drive onto the rear wheel. And these belts last for a very, very long time, very robust. You don't need to index the gears, you don't need to oil them. So it's a nice, clean solution. My guess is most people will go for um, that solution. And I can't remember the pricing, but I'm guessing from the top of my head, it's probably about a 400 pound upgrade to go for it. So probably the biggest feature of this bike is this front loading area and Reese and Muller have been really clever in the way that they've designed this. Now the version I've got here is called the flex box but there is a, a base uh, well it's called a base box I was going to say a base entry uh, level to this um, bike. It does away with this um, kind of foam box and it just puts a tray in the bottom. Huge space that's in there so you can just throw stuff in. Um, as an upgrade to that for about 300 pounds, you can have what they call a cargo bag of some sort. It's a huge bag that would fill the space. It's got 90 liters of capacity in it. So that's ample for all your weekly shopping or all your general sort of stuff you're gonna carry around. So that's a bag that can be removed or it can actually be fixed into the bike. So the nice thing about um, this bike, it's got this flex box on the front. So it opens out and it almost doubles the, the size of the storage that we've got. So base size of this bike is I think it's 45 centimeters by 30 centimeters and when it opens up we've got 45 by 65 centimeters so a huge additional space still the base but part of it plus this extra bit up the top I'll show you how it works it's really clever they've designed it so it kind of overlaps and when it overlaps it's actually got a lock here so, and you just turn a little catch here I've obviously got it unlocked one side opens up and then the other side opens up and they both lock into place. Now the version that we've got is set up with two child seats in the front, so this is another option. You can get an additional option that puts these high headrests on it as well. Um, and they've both got five point seat belts as well. If you've got one child, you can actually fold the center bit down in, push it in, and then you can move the seat belt over to the center and then one child can sit in there. Risa Muller suggests a child up to about seven years old can fit into this. And the total carrying capacity of that front area is 80 kilograms. When you want to close this box back up, it's really simple. You've got a couple of little catches, you pull and that closes in. Same on the other side, close that one in click it into place and then you can just lock it. So if you've got stuff that you is, needs to be secure, so maybe a laptop bag or things like that when you're doing the run to the school with the kids and everything, you can lock the box and leave it and obviously lock your bike to something so nobody nicks the whole lot together. So nice thing as well with this, as standard it comes with a, a sort of a rain cover that goes over here and the rain cover works that when these are open it clips over the whole space so if you have got your shopping and everything in there there's a nice simple cover that comes as standard uh, when you buy the flex box. The other thing um, that people will probably go for is if you've got the child seats in here, then you'll want some sort of cover for them. And Reese and Muller have made a nice child cover like they do for the, um, the loads and those types of bikes where we've got this big screen that comes over, a nice clear um, piece for the kids to see through, but it protects them from then the sun, the wind, the rain, the grit, the dirt and everything else. And they sit there and have a lovely time. Uh, there's also a sunshade that goes over the top of it. And there's another cover that comes around the back that will sort of sit and enclose them completely into that space. So one of the really important things about this bike is it is a compact cargo bike. That, that's the international sign language for compact cargo bike compact cargo bike. Um, overall length of this bike is 209 centimeters. That compared to some of the larger bikes like I think the Transporter 65 which is a relatively small cargo bike. Um, I think that's another cent uh, 
30 centimeters on top. So that makes this quite small. Um, some of the way that they've done that, we've obviously got 20 inch wheels, so we've brought the size of the bike down. Um, but this load area is only 45 centimeters long compared to the transporter being 65, the load being 60 or 70 long. Um, but still it's made up for all that sort of shortness and compactness it's got by still carrying that huge weight with this sort of fold out Doctor Who TARDIS type front end on it that you can pile endless kit into. So Reese and Muller have created three different colorways that you can go for on this bike. And just to make my life really complicated, rather than calling them like white, yellow, and blue, um, they've gone for this one, uh, which is our test bike. This comes in aqua. So I'm guessing that's a, a blue, it's kind of greeny blue um, color. Next one is then called shadow. Um, shadow is, uh, I think it's an off-white type of color. So it's uh, a very, very light gray. And then the last one is anise. Now, an anise is, um, this is my description of it, a greeny, yellow, browny type color, um, but it looks really nice. If you're not sure, have a quick look on the website for it. Um, it's a really good color. I imagine the two most popular are probably gonna be the aqua and the anise, um, but I'm looking forward to seeing the shadow to see how nice that um, light gray color actually is. So when it comes to safety and security on these bikes, like pretty much every recent Muller out there, it comes with the most important things that you're gonna need. So on this bike as standard, we've got a front light um, wired straight into the battery, huge power on it. So um, you're gonna be able to ride through the, the night as well. So when we get to the shorter winter days, which I can't really believe they're actually gonna come again. We've got those great lights on the front, but we've also got a rear light obviously wired into the um, battery as well. I personally run with those permanently on the whole time. Security wise, we've got locks on these bikes. So we've got a lock that is for the flex box on the front. We've got another lock for the battery. And then we've got a lock which is called a cafe lock for the rear wheel. This can be extended so you can have a chain that plugs into the side of it and you can lock the bike onto it. So really nice sort of basic features that you're gonna get on this bike. So if you like the look of this uh, carry from Reese and Muller, then why not book yourself a test ride? You can do that on our website at edamo.bike or give us a call on 01453 834 300.